Oh me, oh my, we had an adventure today, didn't we, teenager? Yeah. Where did we go? We went to the antique store, which was her first time being able to go to one, and oh, we found some treasures. And even the boys got a treasure because the neighbor's dog came over to visit. No, we did not end up keeping a third dog. That is our neighbor's dog. She gets out every so often and comes over to visit us, which then usually triggers that their kids come over to hang out with my kids, and then they take their dog home. But she was here waiting on us because we weren't home, and so while we're unloading our trucks, she has come inside to pay a visit to the boys. Her people are on their way home and they're gonna come over and collect her here in a little bit. But let's talk about the treasures we found today. Starting with this super cool outdoorsman hat that Little Man found for himself. Middle Little found herself a hat as well. I'm happy to report that the study is finally getting furniture in it. Ryan got this nice leather couch. Four different end tables to put in here. This really unique coat and or hat rack. He also found this beautiful game box full of all sorts of games and this really nice leather chair and stool. We bought this end table that's going to be here in our bedroom, which is gonna go real nicely with this chair that we already have in the podcast room because this is getting moved and I have a new chair coming for this one this week. Ryan's dad picked out this lamp to go in the men's study as well. It's got a cute little country scene on it. And Middle Little could not let this blue rocker go unnoticed. It's perfect for front porch sitting to enjoy this beautiful view from the front porch. And we actually got a whole lot of other furniture. We just couldn't fit everything in two trucks today. So we brought home what we could and we're going back tomorrow for at least probably two more trips to get the rest of it. But let's look at all the rest of the small things that fit inside the truck. Middle Little picked out this lamp for her room that if she ever decides she does not want it, I will gladly adopt it because it's just beautiful. The girls each got one of these artificial plants to go in their room. And yes, the pretty neighbor lady girl is still here hanging out waiting for her people. Middle Little found this moose inspired serving tray and she wanted to grab it because it reminds her of our home in Alaska. She also found this very pretty wall hanging for her bedroom. A couple small artificial trees for decoration. A handmade mermaid tail that she has decided is going to be worn as a shawl because she can stick her arm through the tail portion of this. A poncho blanket to use outside for the front porch sitting now that we're getting into fall weather. This cute little half apron which is going to come in handy because she's going to be helping me do a lot more baking again. A random stuffy that she fell in love with. An old childhood stories book that is from 1988. She loves old kids books. Little man had to bring home this snowman stuffy. He also found a Mandalorian and Darth Vader stuffies and this really cool Darth Vader cookie jar. He also really liked this blue vase and was adamant that it had to come home for his bedroom. I would say out of all three kids, the teenager had the most fun because she is her father's child and loves all things old and vintage. So let's look and see what she got. She found three baskets to add to her old timey collection for her play. She found this dried roses display and it's absolutely beautiful and fits in perfectly in her room. As if we hadn't already figured out by now by the presence of Snowflake and Jake in her bedroom, she's the kitty cat kid. So she found this little ceramic set of kitty cats to put on her shelf. This handmade leather wallet, this very cute little trunk treasures box of whatever she wants to use it for. Teenager also got this beautiful blanket and two artificial plants to fit into her room as well, like Middle Little God. This dainty little choker stationary style necklace, this bracelet, and this sweet little necklace. Still visiting, I see, Miss Lady Girl. Are you enjoying life here with our family? <laughs> I grabbed a couple of really old cookbooks. The Chicken Cookbook is from 1985, and the Make a Mix Cookery is from the year I was born, 1982. Ryan grabbed two more copies of Life Magazine from 1944 and 1942. Middle Little grabbed herself a couple bracelets and this cute little butterfly hairpin. She also grabbed this little decorative tree to go with her other collection that she has started. Ryan got this little set of four brandy glasses and then these red canisters to go in the study. And I also found this green canister set of four yesterday when we bought this crock, but I forgot to grab it, so I was happy that it was still there today. It looks perfect in my little kitchen window. Ryan got this glass 
I don't know what the lid comes off of it, but it's very pretty. What did you say it was? It's a tobacco humidor. Well, then it fits perfectly for your room, doesn't it? <laughs> And last but not least, these were a last minute. I saw them as we were checking out from everything else. I got these cute little swan cups that are actually little measuring cups. So that's all that we managed to fit inside the cab and bed of two trucks today. But that's not all we managed to buy. That's just all we could bring home today. So stay tuned because there's a whole lot more furniture coming home probably tomorrow. So I'll make sure to share that with you guys too. Hi, little nugget. We all love you.